sexy? Easy as one, two, three. Just let your soul go. Just let it shine through. Just let your soul That was me, everybody. That was me back in 1971. I remember when I had long hair like that. I was dangerous on the basketball court. But I'm not talking about basketball today. I'm talking about men with long hair. Do you got your Bibles with you? Send it on down. Everybody, this is your Reverend Bishop Maxwell Glaze back for another episode of Think and Glaze Rich. Now, if you have your Bible with you, you better have your Bible. I want you to turn your Bible now to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to read verse 13 through 15. And the Bible reads, Judging yourselves, is it commonly that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Do with not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. So what is Paul trying to say here? Uh, this restriction, so far as literal head coverings go, is unique to cultures where head covering is relevant. These words do not apply that all modern women are obligated to cover their heads, rather, all believers, both men and women, are, should apply the principles of modesty and common sense in their appearance. I'm so sick and tired of seeing men walk around with long hair. One time I was walking behind a, uh, what I thought was a woman, and I said, ma'am, ma'am, you dropped your, your wallet. And, 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 and he, he turned around and said, I'm not a woman. I said, what? <laughs> I, listen, I was confused. So anyway, this is your Reverend Bishop Maxwell Blaze. I'm the senior pastor at Hollywood Be Thy Name at this church. And I hope you take time out of your day every day to stay in your word. And men, stop walking around here looking like Wonder Woman. You're not going to eat, man. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the name. <laughs> 